Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this scarf that you've seen there. Um, that's my husband in the photo wearing it. And he fought me. He did not want to pose for YouTube, but he loves me, so he did it. But this is what he's wearing. And if you look at the photo, he is six foot tall. So, I mean, if you want to determine how long to make your scarf. My scarf is, without the fringe, it's about six and a half foot uh, long. With the fringe, it's it's over eight feet you don't have to put the fringe if you don't want to you can make your scarf shorter or you can make it longer because it's an easy repeat now it's made with these cables you can see uh, the cables across it I don't know if you can see them that well with this yarn but it does have the cables across it and don't be intimidated by the cables as long as you can do uh, front post and back post stitches these cables should be really easy so I'm going to teach you the best way that I can and it's, this is actually meant to be one of them super scarves, the really wide and long ones. So this one is approximately 12 inches wide. So it's a nice thick scarf. And it doesn't just have to be for a man. It can be a unisex scarf too. So, um, And then I wanted to take a moment to ask you if you could uh, not forget to subscribe to my channel. That way whenever I put a video on, you'll get an update and you can come check it out, uh, all my new stuff. And maybe if you watch this video, if you could give it a, a like and a share too, I'd really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and I'll go over the materials I used here. Set that to the side. Now the yarn I use for this is called Loops and Threads Madrid Yarn. Now it is a bulky number five. Now I recommend, you don't have to use this brand, but I recommend a bulky number five if you want the same effect that I have. You can use a four ply, it's just gonna be uh, thinner. It's not gonna be the big thick 12 inches wide, and it's not gonna be as long. Otherwise, it'll still look the same. Now this is not the color I used. I actually don't have the tag for the color I used, but the color that I used was called Spice. Now there are 350 yards per skein and I used almost all of three skeins and that was including putting all that fringe on it. So you're going to need a um, thousand yards to uh, do this scarf and if you want to make it bigger you're going to need more. So um, that's what I used and then I'm going to set that to the side. And the hook that I used was a size K which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it with a yarn that's a little bit easier to see. That yarn that I actually used for the scarf is, it was really hard to see. I tried filming with it, but you really just couldn't see what I was doing because it's pretty dark. So, what you want to do is start out with a chain of 42. And once you get your chain of 42 done, you want to count down and you want to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember, we don't count this one that's on our hook. So, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and do a double crochet into that stitch. And now we're going to do one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that. So one double all the way to the end of the chain. Okay, once you make it to the end of row one, you should have a total of 40 stitches, and that includes this chain here on the end. He counts as a stitch. He's going to count as a double crochet. So counting him, you should have 40 stitches now. And that's the end of row one. Now we're going to start row two. Now rows two and three are the repeat rows. So here's row two. We're going to start off by chaining one and turning our work. Now what we're going to do is put one double crochet right here in this very, very first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to do one of our cables. We have, the scarf has two large cables, one on each end, and then three smaller cables in the middle. So this will be one of our larger, well, larger cables. So what we're going to do is skip three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And we're going to front post triple crochet around the next three. So we're going to yarn over twice like we're going to do a triple crochet. Now you want to skip the 
first three the next three stitches so skip 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 and in this one right here we're gonna work a triple crochet but we're gonna work it around the post the front of it like this where the post is on the front of your hook go through it and then you just do your regular triple crochet so that's a front post triple now we want to do that again over the next two stitches yarn over twice go in where the post is on the front of your hook and then do your triple crochet and then one more time the next one yarn over twice and go around the post of the stitch to where the post is on the front of your hook and then do your triple crochet now what we're going to do we're going to go back and do the same thing over the three stitches that we skipped starting with the very first one so here's where it gets a little bit kind of your stitches just get kind of tangled that's the only problem with cables all you got to do is just take your time and just make sure you're look you're looking and getting in getting the cables in the right stitch that's all that really that really matters so we're going to do it in the first stitch over here so we're going to yarn over twice and go over the top and go all the way over to this first stitch that we skipped and go around the post of it to where the post is on the front of your hook and then we yarn over there and do our regular triple crochet and now we're going to go to the next one so kind of move them apart and look for it this one right here yarn over twice go right around the stitch do the post of it to where the post is on the front of your hook and then do your regular triple crochet and then one more look around for it because you can see the stitches they get tangled up right there it is and we're going to do the same thing yarn over twice and do your front post triple so go right around the post of it and triple crochet just like that so that is the first part of the first large cable now we're going to go to the next stitch and just do one regular double crochet right in the top of it make sure you're not going into this one because this one has been worked with the post see it here so make sure you go to the next one just yarn over and go right into the top of the stitch and do a regular double crochet now we're going to do a front post triple crochet around the next stitch so we yarn over twice go around the post of the next stitch and then do your triple crochet now the next stitch is going to be a regular double crochet into the top of it so yarn over go right into the top and just do a regular double crochet now we're going to do our small cable and it's going to be worked over four stitches so what we're going to do is skip the first two skip skip and we're going to front post triple around the next two so it's done the same it's just smaller so we skip this one and this one and then do go around the post of the next one and do your front post triple crochet and now we're going to do that same thing to the next stitch so yarn over twice just like that now we're going to back it up and we're going to do front post triples around the two that we skipped starting with this very first one so we yarn over twice go all the way over to the one we skipped and front post triple and then we look for the next one here right there it is and front post triple around that one just like that Okay, now we're going to put a double, regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch just right in the top a regular double crochet front post triple crochet around the next stitch so yarn over twice go right around the post of the next one do your front post triple and then the next stitch is going to be a regular double crochet right in the top of it Now we're going to do another small cable so we're going to skip the first two and front post triple around the next two so yarn over twice skip two and front post triple around the next one 
yarn over twice in front post triple again around the next one now we're going to back it up and front post triple around the two that we skipped starting with that first one and then go to the next one you can see it right there and front post triple around that one just like that now we're going to do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch and then we're going to do a front post triple crochet around the next stitch and then we're going to do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch and now we're going to do a small cable again so we're going to skip two and front post triple around the next two Now we back it up and go front post triple around the two that we skipped. And then the next one. Just like that. Now we're going to do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. We're going to front post triple around the next one. And a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. So regular double crochet. Now what we're going to do now at the end here is one of the large the large cable again, what we did at the beginning, and it's worked over six stitches. So it's done the same way. We skip the three stitches and we front post triple around the next three. So we yarn over twice, skip the next three, and front post triple around the next three. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're going to back it up and front post triple around the three that we skipped starting with the first one and these bigger posts are easily to get tangled so just kind of take your time make sure you, you look for your stitches so you make sure you're getting the right one but once you get going on this it'll, it's really easy and then the next one always got to kind of look for it on the big ones right there it is front post triple on that last one there Now we should have two stitches left at the end. We got this double crochet and then this chain that we said counted as a double crochet. We're going to put one regular double crochet in the top of each of those. So one double crochet and then one right in the top of that chain. Yarn over and go right in the top of it and put a regular double crochet. And that ends row two. And you still should have a total of 40 stitches. It's always 40 stitches on every row, just like that. Now, for row three, we're going to chain one and turn. Now, we're working on the back of our work. And every time we work on the back of our work, we work back post stitches and not front. Whenever we worked on the front, we were doing front post. Now, we're going to be working back post because we're working on the back of our work. So, we're going to start again putting a double crochet into the very first stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch now we're at our large cable and what we're going to do is I always kind of stick my finger in between them so you can separate you see there's three stitches here and there's three stitches in front we're going to work them back post triple crochets starting with these first three and then we're going to work it around these three 
so I kind of separate them the ones in front you do first we're going to do back post triple so we're going to yarn over and we're going to come at our work from the behind that way the post of the stitch is on the back of your hook see that and then you go ahead and do your triple crochet it's easy to get confused with back post and, and front post but once you get it down I would say the back post is a little more difficult but it's easy once you get going yarn over twice to go to the next stitch come at it from the behind to where your post of your stitch is on the back of your hook and then do your triple crochet and then there's one more up here in front you see it right here so yarn over twice go around it from the behind like that to where the post is on the back and then do your triple crochet and now we're going to work these three right here next so there's no crossing over like we do on the front we just go right in order back post triple with these so come at it from the behind like this until the post is on the back of your hook and then do your back post triple and then the next one here do the same thing come at it from the behind like that go back around stitches on the back of my hook do my triple and then again there's one more here we got to do yarn over twice and then back post triple just like that now when you flip it around you can see the posts are still all lined up that's what you want so now what we're going to do is a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch so it's a double crochet right here in the top of this double crochet and then we're going to do a front or a, a back post triple around this post stitch here so we go go uh yarn over twice and come at the stitch from the behind like that so the post is on the back of my hook do my triple crochet and then do a regular double crochet right here in this double crochet so right in the top of it now we're at our smaller cables and they're done the same way so there's I put my finger in there we do the two we do the ones in the front first and then we do the ones right here next we back post triple around them you don't have to separate them with your finger but I find it easier to do that that way I know to go in order that order there so you want to yarn over twice and go from the behind and back post triple around that first stitch and then back post triple around the next stitch and then we go to the ones that are on the front of your finger here and work those the same way back post triple and there's one left here just like that oh drop that one and now it's a double crochet into the top of the next stitch here and then it's a back post triple around this next stitch so you yarn over twice go around it from the behind here so the post is on the back triple crochet double crochet right here in the top of this double crochet and now we're at a small cable again so we're going to do the same thing I put my finger in there so I know I got to work these two up here first and then these two next front post or back post triple around them so come at them from the behind so the post is on the back of your hook the next one And then these two up here come out from the behind like that so the post is on the back I don't know why I keep dropping my 
stitches. And then I got one more up here. Back post triple around that last one. Just like that. Okay. Regular double crochet right here in the top of this stitch. Back post triple crochet around the next stitch. Regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Small cable again. So I put my finger in there and I got to work these two up here first and then these two next. Yarn over twice, back post triple around that first one. Back post triple around that next one there. And then the two right here that are in front of my finger, back post triple around that one, the first one there. And back post triple around that last one. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Back post triple around the next stitch. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Now we're at our last cable and it's the larger cable. So that's where we stick our finger in there. We skip we did the six it works over six stitches. So you got your three in the front of your finger and the three in the back here. Or three in the back of your finger, I guess, and three right up here. You want to start and do these three first. And we want to back post triple around these three first. So, right around. One, two, I keep dropping my stitches because I showed you that I was using a hero hook in the beginning and this one is not a hero hook, it's some kind of weird hook and I always use usually use hero hooks so that's why it's just a different head on it, that's why I keep dropping it. And then we do these front three here. Back post triple. I'm very set and I'm in my ways on my hooks. If I don't, um, it has to be hero or boy. I really can't use much of anything else. Okay, then we're at the end, and we're just going to double crochet in these last two stitches. So one there, and then one in the last one. And now that will end row three. 40 stitches is what you still should have. And then we'll chain one and turn, and then we just repeat rows two and three. And you can see the cables are starting to take place. So remember, Every time you're on the front of your work, which we're getting ready to do, it's front post triple crochets. Whenever you're on the back side, you work back post triple crochets. So again, this would be a, what we're getting ready to do would be a repeat of row two where we did the front post triples. So we would double crochet in these first two stitches. And remember, we would skip these three and front post triple in these and then go back and front, front post triple in these. So when you're working the front, that's when we skip stitches and then go back to them with the front post triples. When you work the back of your work, it's always the stitches, your back post triples are worked right in a row. You don't skip any stitches. So you'll get the hang of it. And if you make a mistake, which you probably will, I made a lot of mistakes doing mine. I always do when I make cables, you know, I get confused. I make mistakes, but you'll be able to notice it when you flip it over. You'll notice that the stitches aren't right. Like, I might put a front post where there was supposed to be a back post. And you'll really be able to tell because once you get to going, let me move this out of the way. 
your cables will start to line up and you will notice when there's one that's not right I know this yarn it's hard to tell but you'll be able to tell when a cable isn't lined up see the straight cable if I did one wrong you would notice it it would not they would not be lining up right and how these twist you'll notice if you make a mistake and don't worry if you do because I made a bunch of them doing this it's that's just part of being being a human so as for the how many rows you want to do for my size I did a total of 97 rows counting the very first row it was 97 and remember I you know mine's about six and a half foot long um, if you don't want it that long or you want it longer always end in an odd row where that's uh, where you work the back post last that the back post row would, would be what you'd want to end in now when you get done with your cables what I always do is give them a good stretch because they they get they get they tend to be tight so I always give them a good stretch and of course this will probably make your scarf a bit longer but but it separates them a bit so they're not all tangled up with with each other but I always give them the scarf a really good stretch get them cables loosened up a bit I guess you don't have to but that's just what I do and now for the fringe if you want to add fringe you don't have to but it's super easy to do that I'll just take one off here and show you real quick how you do it now my fringe is about a foot long you can make yours longer or shorter but if you want to make your fringe a foot long you need to cut yarn pieces that are double that size so two feet maybe even you know 28 inches or something like that give you a little bit of extra to cut it off even at the end or you can cut it however long you want but I did six strands of about two feet uh, lengths if you want to use less strands too you can now all I did was e evenly spaced out eight sections of um, tassels or fringes there was no specific place really that I put them mine is evenly spaced out eight so what you want to do to add the tassels you can use if you want them not as thick as mine you can use like three strands of yarn or but I use six and I cut my six pieces about two foot long a little bit longer than two feet so I had a little bit of leeway to trim them up but you stick your hook in wherever you want your fringe to go adding fringe is real easy and pull your pieces through not all the way but and so you can grab it like this and then you line up your ends to where they're pretty even and then all you do is I just stick my hand through and grab this these long pieces and pull them right through that ring and pull it tight and that's it that's how you add fringe and then later you can trim these up to the length that you want or get them all evened up but that's it that's all there is to it and you don't have to add fringe you can leave it plain and look good it look good plain fringe just adds some extra length to it uh, you can put tassels or whatever you want to do but that's it that's all there is to it um, I hope you enjoyed my my uh, video I hope you were able to follow along okay please please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel maybe give this video a like and a share and if you make anything I'd really like to see a picture of it you can post a picture on my bag a day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time have a good day